Hello ladies and gentlemen, your captain speaking from flight deck. My name is Captain Surinder Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax and enjoy your journey. Yeah, we will learn about IRS and INS, Inertial Navigation System. This is the instrument, you will never use it. It was developed in 1980s, Inertial Navigation System. Up to 90s, 80s, 90s, in fact, late 70s. So, 80s, 90s, those aircraft came. They all were fitted with INS, Inertial Navigation System. But the basic concept of INS and IRS is same. One is, remember, both are not same. One is Inertial Navigation System. So, it is a standalone DR Navigation System. Standalone means it does not require any external help. It is whatever is there on board, that is the equipment which is used. Otherwise, whether we learnt about GPS, we studied about VOR or we will study about NDB, you need a transmitter, something on the ground, something in the aircraft. aircraft. This is the equipment which does not require any external assistance or support. So that's what is stand alone. In its own, it will give you your navigation information, whatever you are required. DR is dead reckoning. Dead reckoning is when you do visual navigation, it is called dead reckoning. You have a map, you draw your track, you write time checkpoint, tracks, everything. And now when you fly, you look at the map, or look at the map, compare with the ground. Again, whatever your checkpoints are there, that is, you are continuously updating your position. So, when you are continuously updating your position, that kind of navigation pro procedure is called dead reckoning. So, this navigation system also works on. So, when you say stand alone, DR means stand alone means no external input required. It continuously updates its present position. Because it is continuously updating its position, when we studied rumb line and gate circle, either you can fly the shortest path or you can fly constant direction. If you want, if you are flying along a great circle, then you need to continuously change your direction. So this updates the position. So that's why INS gives great circle distance. So INS gives you great circle distance and track. Why? Because it is continuously updating its present position. Original panel of INS looked like whichever aircraft it was fitted on all. Before the IRS came, all the aircraft they had was INS. So there is a panel, you have a keypad, a rotary switch, to from which waypoint you are going. So you could feed waypoints in that latitude, longitude. You could decide the route, up to 10 waypoints could be fed in that. And then once it starts working, it will show you your present position, latitude, longitude, track, distance, everything it used to give. And there was a rotary switch, track, ground speed, heading, cross track error, position, waypoint, distance, winds. This was the standard display. You can see um, this displays was, these displays were developed in 70s. This one is IRS. There is not much of difference if you see. They are almost identical. Whether you fly Airbus, Boeing. This is for the Airbus. They call it ADIRS. So uh, this is, is a little different in the sense. IRS is same. So on the same bus they have put ADC information also and IRS information for the display. But that again theoretical. This is your IRS panel. All those modern aircraft, they have IRS. This was INS. The basic difference between IRS and INS is INS only gives us navigation information. Whatever you want to see, how much distance to go. Whereas IRS gives you not only navigation information, it gives information to generate if it's display. On electronic flight instrumentation system, you have PFD, and in the PFD, you have 
you have ADC information, you saw that all those air data, whether it is a Mach number, altimeter, ESI, all that information is there, that is from ADC. But what you see, pitch indication, your direction indication, okay, those are all generated with the IRS. INS inertial navigation system, this was purely for navigation and we already seen how it looks like. Whereas IRS, it is not only for your navigation, but also to generate FS display and FS particularly when you talk about PFD for this information that is your pitch bank and direction that is generated by IRS that is the major difference bank indication so though there is no moving gyro they are called earlier they used a term called solid state now later that solid state was basically ring laser gyro uh, you want to create pitch bank and roll indication so you create a platform which always remains horizontal now you align with longitudinal axis and lateral axis it is stabilized now any time it can be used for to generate pitch roll and direction bank indication all three we'll see that as we progress further you will find how this can be generated by the same system so that was a major difference between INS and IRS one is only useful for navigation whereas here you can create this indication I'm giving you a very simple explanation or understanding how this equipment works like I told you DR navigation system which continuously update its present position so here if you read it it continues or continuous update of present position from now how it works starting position so you have to show the system where is the starting position okay that is the most interesting part of this equipment so earlier they had to feed the latitude of latitude and longitude of the starting position that's why all the gates when the aircraft wherever they parked aero bridges gates even the bay on the charts also they have six digit coordinates so you have to show the system from where you are starting now from there it will continues to update its position and that's how it works so important thing is if your initial position is incorrect what will happen so if you are on the gate this always yellow color board which shows your latitude and longitude six digit the system is not really giving you any accurate information when you should set up the position before pushback from where you are starting now how it works inertial navigation system inertia is resistance to change in this entire system the main sensor or the heart of the system is something called accelerometer so what is actually accelerometer accelerometer is if you go let's say i have a weight some weight and this is spring if i pull it up which side this weight will go similarly if you i'll take it is and go down which side this weight will go it goes up so this is the simple principle of inertia that is accelerometer simple it measures vertical acceleration now if i accelerate this way which side this weight will go back opposite direction if i suddenly slow down this will go forward this is the base of your ins accelerometer which measures linear acceleration like i said heart of the system is this so if you go suddenly slow down this will go in opposite direction so we put two or three accelerometer one measured in north south direction one measured in east west direction so how we use this just by measuring acceleration for navigation we have studied in the school def differentiation 
east west and one we put it in vertical also sorry but they are excellent differentiate depending upon the properties of anything subject you are differentiating separating them integrating means you have different property you integrate them obviously with some reference you take some one common reference if you differentiate against that reference that is differentiation when you integrate with that reference somehow you can integrate lot of quantity with the same reference that is integration i know this is let's say distance differentiate how much distance traveled in simple in a given time this will give you velocity now this velocity if i differentiate in a given time absolutely right that is your acceleration when you go this way this is your differentiation you see no so when you go this way it is called differentiation when i measure the acceleration and i integrate with the time it will give you velocity now the second time if i integrate this velocity with the time that will give you distance so this is the principle of inertial navigation system we have sensors which measure linear acceleration north south east west we integrate with the time clock reference you can give that will give you velocity again you give the time ref that is task to your speed okay that's what it gives again you integrate with the time it gives you distance